and how are you this how are you this morning it is friday morning and i am live here in my stamping room i just gave fudge the dog a fright because it was very quiet and now i'm talking very loudly i hope you are well this beautiful friday morning it is lovely and sunny here in the adelaide hills in south australia and I'm actually looking forward to getting outside after um, our chat this morning and enjoying a coffee in the sunshine and, and soaking up some of this lovely, beautiful autumn um, sunshine here. In the hills here in Adelaide, it is, I think the autumn is probably the most beautiful time in the Adelaide hills. It is all golden and, and it's starting to get pretty cold at night time and there's lots and lots of, um, you know, the leaves are all turning and all the colours are happening here in the hills. So it is the most, if you're ever planning on visiting the Adelaide Hills, autumn is absolutely the time to do that. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Deb. I think I saw there as well. It was like Rumper Room. Who do I see through the mirror? Um, now, this morning, I've got to tell you that I was feeling a little bit flat. I'm not usually flat. I'm pretty up kind of person. But I was feeling a little bit flat. And then I saw on my Facebook page that Sherry was waiting for me at McDonald's with her coffee and her muffin ready to, she'd gone down there because her electricity's off so she could watch my show. And seriously, does it get any better than that when someone goes and, oh, I'm getting, gosh, I've got, oh, it must be emotional, it must be hormonal or something. I'm getting teary, Sherry. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with me today? Oh, okay. So anyway, thank you, Sherry. That was so sweet of you and just what I needed um, today. Hello, Rhonda, how are you from Oklahoma? How, how wonderful for you to join us. Oklahoma, I've been through Oklahoma only like for, um, a few hours on a bus but it was fabulous wide open um, gorgeous lands with lots and lots of grains growing it was a beautiful place it's beautiful and sunny too when we went through there so welcome thank you for coming I know I'm a bit hungry too Katrina muffin mm. I might have to we I'm not very close to we don't have a lot of fast food around us but um, that McDonald's hot chocolate muffin, or was that, was that what it was, Sherry? I'm not sure. But uh, I have got my coffee. It's rather large and it's in my favorite color, one of my favorite colors. So, I'm, you know, I'm a pinky kind of girl, but it has to be like this sort of, um, you know, like uh, more of a dull pink. Good morning, Julia, how are you this morning? Come for some stamping. Good to see, good to see you. So um, today I've got to remind you guys of a few uh, amazing, fabulous Stampin' Up! things that are happening at the moment that you do not want to miss out on. First off, we are in the last month of this catalogue, this annual catalogue. This is our last month together. Beautiful catalogue. We have had some really good times. Morning, Vicky. How are you? Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are the best. Um, so make sure that if you haven't bought something from this catalogue that's about to retire, that you do it really soon because the chances are running out. They are going to, once this hits um, the end of this month, if there's something on the retiring list, if there's a beautiful stamp set in there or some beautiful designer series paper that you've been looking at and it's been on your wish list but you just haven't got around to purchasing it, you've got to get onto it. You've got to get onto it really soon because some of those things are going to be completely gone, gone, gone by the end of May. Now, if you are one of my customers, and I do hope you are, um, head on over to my blog carolynbenny.com and put your orders in the shopping um, cart there and um, help support me and my little at home stamping up business 
I would be super appreciative. The other thing to consider, good morning Laura, how are you? Hey, going sweet? Um, is that Eastern Palace, now this is gonna be back to front I think, but the Eastern Palace bundle special is still rolling on. Now if you have not, a few weeks ago, um, we made a card using the Eastern Palace dies so such a beautiful die set and the coordinating stamp um, that goes with it but also all of the little tassels and the designer series paper and the stickers they're all in this fabulous two bundles that we've got available at the moment now the bundles are great we've got a startup bundle and then kind of like a bumped up premiere bundle the starter bundle is good for those of us who don't have a big shot, which is very sad. If you don't have a big shot, make sure you put that on your wish list for your birthday, Mum's Day, this Sunday, and, or any wish list needs to go on. But if you, if you don't have a big shot, then the starter bundle is really good. It has the stamp set and it has some really pretty things that you can make some fabulous cards with. Um, it is $104.75 and you also get thrown in some very vanilla cardstock and envelopes for that price. Oops, why are we oopsing Mary? How are you? <laughs> um, and the other thing, if you've got the big shot, then you're going to want the Eastern Palace Premier Bundle because it comes with the framelits. So have a look at that one. That's um, a little bit more. It's $178.25. But that one actually comes with some very vanilla envelopes. You get 40 in the pack, which is awesome. And you also get the very vanilla new thick A4 cardstock, which is going to be on everyone's wish list as soon as our new catalogue goes live on the 1st of June. So what have I talked about? Buying the retired products, getting into that really soon. Eastern Palace Bundle, get onto that. They, um, the extra free things in those bundles, those two bundles, are only available this month. So after this month, you'll be able to buy the products, the Eastern Palace um, um, stamp set and framelits, but you just won't get the freebies. So hey, why wouldn't you get the freebies, right? So get into that between now and the end of the month. The other thing is that on um, if you head on onto my online shop. Good morning, Julia. How are you? Oh, the angry. <laughs> Mary's just said that she by mistake hit the angry emoji um, by accident. So I will know <laughs> at the end when I go back and look at this video, Mary, that um, you weren't meaning to give me the angry face. <laughs> But I didn't see it, so that's that's fine. <laughs> that's so cute. Um, lots of thumbs up, people, and smiley faces. And make sure that you tell me, um, even when you're not commenting, although please give me lots of comments. If, you, if I'm saying something that you like or I'm doing something that you like, a really good interactive way of making um, the Facebook Lives work is that you tap on your screen if you're on a phone or an iPad and get some happy faces going or some thumbs up going. Um, but always, if you, even if you just want to, like, just talk, tell me what you're doing. Like, tell me what you're doing this afternoon. Tell me what you're doing on the weekend. Tell me what you're doing for Mother's Day if you're a mum. Um, it's always lovely to have some conversations going while we're chatting. So the other thing that I want to talk about is the clearance rack. So when you go to my blog and you go to my shop, you will see that there is a whole bunch of clearance rack things happening on there that are um, stock that's no longer available or stock that we've got a lot of inventory of and they are reducing them so why not grab yourself a bargain if you're going in to purchase something like the eastern palace suite you want to pop on a few extra bits and pieces to bump up your order to 250 dollars so you get some hostess benefits and who wouldn't want to do that then go into the clearance rack and you can kind of get more bang for your buck so this, we have this little beauty going live on the 1st of June, which is the new Stampin' Up! annual catalogue. 
And if you are a demonstrator and you've already got your um, catalog in your hot hands, you will know that it is full. It is really large this year, um, which is costing me a fortune posting these babies out. But um, for as customers, it is fabulous because it's really thick and it's wonderful and full of lots of fabulous new products. So if you are a customer of mine and you have purchased from me in the last 12 months, you will be receiving your catalog in the mail from me um, really soon. If you are a new customer with me and you're here in Australia, then just message me and I will post one to you direct. So let me know about that. Of course, remember guys, if you are watching me, share this live video with your friends and tell them that I'm on live because the more people who are watching, the more fun we have. Now, what are we going to make today? I thought it was high time that we make something out of the new catalogue, a new um a new stamp set to play with. So when I went to the demonstrator event called On Stage in Sydney a few weeks ago, um, I was lucky enough to grab this fabulous Flamingo stamp set. And it's actually pretty darn cool. It's, it's probably not um, the stamp set that I would have put first on my wish list which is really good that Stampin' Up! give us the opportunity to get a few things in our hands that may be, you know, like, are not going to necessarily be everyone's style. But, you know, the funny thing is, when you start playing with it, then the possibilities start coming. So I've got a fun um, and fairly simple card that everyone can make today to share with you. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to be using some of our um, and some of our new ink colours as well, which I'm pretty excited about because these are my favourite of all time ink colours. So I've had some favourites before, like one or two favourites in the bunch, but this is probably the bunch that I love the five the most that have, we've ever released. So um, I'm really excited to make some some cards with you guys. So are you ready? Let's get stamping. I'm going to flip you around and oh, you can see my, <laughs> that's so funny. It's just like oh, this big finger coming towards you. Are you going to, am I giving myself a heart or is it going to flip? Come on babies. Let's, you know what, I'm going to turn it upside down. You'll see my hand. There we go. Hello, where we are. Holy smokes, that was a lot of hand action then. I beg your pardon about that. Okay, so while you guys are staring at the beautiful cards that we're making today, I'm just going to refresh my page on my laptop and um, so I can still see your beautiful comments. Hello, Kayla, how are you? Um, so I can still see your comments while I am stamping because otherwise it's a little bit, oh, I better turn myself off because I've got to mute myself. Otherwise, all I can hear is the playback. All right. So this is the card that we're going to make today. And he is, he is a fine looking flamingo, <clears throat> I've got to say. And there's some nice stamping. If, if you're just into stamping, and sometimes we forget as demos, um, sometimes we forget that stamping, you don't need to do fancy pants techniques all the time because just stamping is, is good. <laughs> it's just stamping is fun. So let's get into some, some good old stamping. Thanks, Mary. I think it's, it's fun. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Okay. All right. Oh, I got a love heart. So this is the flirty, the fabulous, not flirty, the fabulous flamingo stamp set, and it's pretty good. Um, oh gosh, can you see? You can see my coffee off in the distance. Um, it's pretty good that it's got a few different options for it. So on my card today, I've used the black outline. 
but you don't actually have to do that. You can just leave it as a really, as a much more subtle card without the black outline of the flamingo. And there's some really nice, um, oh, lots of love hearts. Thank you, guys. Um, there's some really nice sentiments too, and that always switches me on to a stamp set if I can use it in a few different ways. So we've got Tickle Pink for you. I love you kind of a lot. Congratulations, that was awesome and thanks. So some really nice um, sentiments there too. Now with this card, I, I first of all wanted to do um, some heat embossing with it and that was okay. But at the end of the day, what I ended up liking the most with it was just simple stamping. But there's a few elements to this card that I thought would still be fun to share with you. So um, I think you're gonna enjoy it. Now, okay, so let me move my coffee out the way before I have a major accident with that. Um, oh look, my coffee is flirty flamingo color as well. Okay. So let's start with the actual stamping of the flamingo first itself. I wonder if I can get you guys a little bit closer. Okay. Alrighty. So I wanted to do, here I am back again with my shimmery white cardstock. It is an obsession and I can't help it. I just love, I'm probably putting up stocks in shimmery white cardstock with Stampin' Up! at this very minute because I buy so much shimmery white cardstock. Um, the reason why I love it so much is it's really lovely for watercolouring techniques and I'm a big watercolouring gal. Um, but I just love the way that it really, it, it moves across, um, our inks move across the paper so beautifully. So, hang on, I can't see your comments. Oh, good morning T, how are you? Hi Maria, how are you? Oh Carolyn, how are you? Oh, I didn't see you guys sneaking in. Hey Rhonda, how are you going? Um, sorry, I'll have to just tip up my Facebook page a little bit so I can see all you guys sneaking in. I didn't see you. So here I've got Pool Party, which is just a beautiful, oh, I don't know where that, I'm oh, beautiful, I've got a little bit of, um, <laughs> my lips got a bit crazy then. So, Oh, and I've just noticed that I don't have any water in my... Do I have any water in that one? That would have been difficult. Okay, so I don't have a lot of water in my large... So with aqua painters, let me start from the beginning. When you purchase aqua painters, they're $20, I believe. Someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong. They're $20 and you get two in the pack. And they come like this. So you've got one that's a smaller nib and one that's larger. Now for a lot of my um, colouring that I do with a lot of detail, I like the smaller nib one. But for when I'm doing a wash, I like, I prefer the bigger, um, the bigger paint brush end. And so it is a paint brush. I don't know if you can see that on, on, the, TV, on the TV, on the Facebook page there. But um, it's when it's got water in it, it just you just fill it up with tap water, and it's usually better when you do fill it up. And then it um, the water comes out, so you don't need to have lots of paint splashing about everywhere because you've just got a really compact take anywhere brush. So here I've put I've opened up my pool party and I've given it a little squish. You need to have the lid open just a tiny bit. You need to squish it and then open and you'll have like a little pool of colour in your lid. If you don't have quite enough or you're using a really light colour, then you can use our reinkers. This is the pool party reinker and just take off the lid and pop a dog in, in the lid there as well. Sometimes with colours like pink pirouette, things like that, um, I might need to have, or some of our lighter yellow, so saffron, I might use a little dog of reinker. Then I'm going to squeeze in, can you see this, or is it totally off camera? Hang on. Um, 
a bit, off you go. Squeeze in a little bit of water from your inker, your aqua painter. Oh, dear me. This has been one of those weeks where I've tried lots of new things this week and nothing has quite gone as I planned. Do you ever have those weeks? So anyway, bear with me. It could be your bumpy ride today, my friends. So, okay, so now I'm going to do a circular wash. So sometimes you can be a bit random, but I just want to have a really nice circle behind our flirty flamingo. I was trying to think of the, I think it might be an Australian song. Is it a flamingo song? Does anyone know that? Do, 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 Anyway, so we have now got a circular wash of pool party. And you can get out your heat gun and you can give that a wee blast to dry a little bit quicker. Or if you are the magic of Facebook Live, I have got one here that I did yesterday that is already dry. So you can either let it dry naturally or you can um, blast it with your heat gun. But I thought after last week, guys, I, I probably blasted your you know ears off with the heat gun. So I've just gone ahead and, and did one quickly yesterday, so I was right ready. Now it has, it's, it's a little bit um, bent. And my um, beautiful friend Katrina, who was on here, oh Katrina, oh there I can see, Pretty Flamingo is the name of the song. You're on track with me, Katrina. So Katrina did is in my team and she did a fabulous um, little tip on our um, team forum the other day, which was if you have a little bit of a bend in your watercolor paper or your shimmery white, I'm not sure, was it shimmery white or watercolor paper, Katrina? Um, that you can pop a tea towel over the top and iron it. And it came out really lovely and flat for her. So I probably should have done that, Katrina, because that was a great tip. So, um, but anyway, it's not quite flat, but it'll be flat once we stick it down with a million dimensionals. Oh, both, Katrina, fabulous. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of our background. We're going to get out the flamingo stamps. Alrighty. So I had a little bit of a play, and as you can see, I have got a fair bit of colour on my um, my photopolymer stamps. Works with heat embossing on two. Good morning, Leonie. How are you? It is a great tip, Sherry. Don't you think? So we can we learn a lot from each other in our forum, which is lovely. Now, I know that you guys are going to tell me a whole stack of ideas of, um, of ways that I will not have my photopolymer stamps stain so badly. But here's uh, the thing. I don't really care. I don't care that my photopolymer stamps stain um, because they're totally fine. You can definitely still see what you're doing through the back of them, even if they've stained. And um, I just, I'm a lazy stamper. We, we have, we've been down this road before, people. I'm a lazy stamper. I clean them and I know that I could probably prime them in a way or uh, I don't know. But they work perfectly fine. They've got a little bit of happy um, rose-coloured glasses about them afterwards and it doesn't affect their use whatsoever. So here today I'm going to use the new Stampin' Up! Colour Berry Burst which I'm just thinking, <clears throat> what do you think guys? My my favourite Starbucks coffee cup I think is in Berry Burst. I'm not sure, it could be. So that, you know, there's just these colours this year, they have that loved look. I agree Leonie, they do look totally loved. Um, so this new in colours for me this this year are just beyond amazing and I'm already starting to lobby Stampin' Up! to keep all of them. Um, powder Pink is another one. It is just so delightful and you might go, we've got a few new light, color, light pinks or we've got a few light pinks already, Carolyn, why do we need another one? Because you do, because it's fabulous. It is 
too pretty. So we're going to be stamping with those today with our beautiful flamingo. And I'm hoping that um, you don't get too much of the top of my head action in um, this stamping because, you know, with stamps where you have to layer over one another, you kind of being over the top of them is, is generally the best. So here we go. Now, the beautiful thing with photopolymer is that you can see where you're stamping, even if they are rose colored, like my stamps tend to be. Um, so I want him to, his legs to be on the ground, which is always a good place to be. So I want his feet to stamp so he's standing up in the right spot. And his body and his head is all going to be in that wash circular area that I've done. Now I'm, I am going a little bit crazy on the pushing down because I want it to stamp up nice for you guys. Da, da, da. I can hear the crowd cheer. Yay! It looks fabulous. Can you see? How adorable. I just love two-step stamping. It, it's like heat embossing. It gives you lots of good feels. All the good feels, people. So now I'm getting out my powder pink, which is a new colour. Now I've got to tell you another tip from my sweet team as well. So do you see this, um, the body of the flamingo? Let me show you something. The sweet Michelle from my team um, gave me this top tip. So sometimes with these really flat photopolymer stamps where they're kind of a solid color, they want, they're a totally, there's no little bits and bobs in there. Sometimes they don't stamp up, um, you know, really beautifully to start with. So what Michelle told me is you get just a regular eraser, pencil eraser, and you kind of prime it by going over the top like so when you very first the first time you use it and then you know give it a wipe off and you are ready to stamp and that really does pick up the ink so much better i've heard also other people say that you can you know kind of use like a little bit of a sanding or something like that but i just think everyone's got a rubber close by to them don't they so how awesome just to get uh, your little eraser and start stamping. Okay, so now this is where the bit comes where I might be hovering over and you're going to see the top of my head. But I think the thing that I worked out from yesterday is that if you get the beak right and the neck then and just the tail, then everything else kind of follows being in the right spot. So we'll see how well... Um, I go with that. So let's have a look. Da -da! Oh, he looks so beautiful. Use the fine sanding spot when you do all your stamps. Now, if it works well. Oh, yeah, good tip. So that there is our lovely flamingo with his beautiful little feathers. And you could leave, if you like that softer look, you could leave it just like so. Um, but I like him just to stand out a little bit more with the black around it. So we're going to step it up and we're going to go around with the black. Now I am using Momento ink because I like it. I like it for when you need to do some really um, strong black colours. And so I'm just going to ink up. With Memento, this third step. This is where making sure that you hover over. Oh gosh, okay. I want to be in shot, but I also don't want the top of my head showing. So these are the conundrums. Need some music. Okay, there we go. So there we are. Ta -da! Isn't that cute? 
And lastly, we've got his little leggies. I love that these like little chicken legs come separately. I think this is what actually my legs look like. These are Carolyn legs. <laughs> Seriously. This is, there's a reason why I don't wear shorts, people. Because I've got these little sticks coming out the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. I love it. I love this little dude. He is sassy. All right, come in. Let's have a close up look. What do you think? Isn't it amazing that just with four stamps, you can get this really, really top quality image? I think that's the thing that always surprises me about stamping that you know you don't have to be an artist to get this amazing result you can get this right at home so it's cute isn't it you you couldn't do that without your stamp and magic oh no you totally could because you can see through the stamps you can totally do this mary i know it um and what's the worst that can happen you know you start again <laughs> and we've all had that so the um, finally, I'm just going to pop a little. We want this dude to be not um, just you know standing around on the ground. We want him to be in some water because that's kind of what flamingos do. I'm told. So we want. And the good thing about this water is because he's standing in it. We don't have to be too exact with it. Isn't that lovely? It's such a tropical, fun kind of feel. But flamingos, are they from Africa? Are they, it's not really tropical, is it? But anyways, look, we're, going, we're going with this tropical feel, even though I, I do feel that they may be from Africa. <sighs> Geology was, uh, geography wasn't my thing, so correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so there we've got our fabulous little flamingo. I want to tell you that I have um, kind of done a few extra bits and bobs with this dude. And I wish I'd... Oh, yes, here I am. So here I did another one yesterday. And because I liked his beak really dark, I used my fine tip glue. And I've just gone over it with his beak and his eye because I liked that a little bit shinier. The other thing that you can do as well with your fine tip glue is now I'm wondering if this is going to show up. I've just popped a few little dots around with the fine tip glue and let it dry overnight. You could even pop a little bit of dazzling diamonds on those just to collect a little bit of um, shimmer, more shimmer on those little um, dots. Can you see that? Does it show up? Gosh, I don't know. Um, so... But, you know, the fine tip glue pen is fast becoming a favourite of mine because you can do these fabulous little accents on your work. Now I'm trying to remember which one is the one. Oh, yes. So this is the one we're working on today. So let's move on to the next. We'll pop him to the side. And I want to show you what we're doing next. This little fern that comes with it, again, I've gone ballistic with my stamping. It's so such a lovely element to use on your background stamping so I've got my berry burst again and because I'm covering up actually I did the first one I did of this I did the whole sheet and it looked so fabulous that I need to do that for something else I think because this covering up the whole sheet of cardstock was just beautiful it was a really lovely wallpaper so now with my stamping i'm just making sure that i'm turning the stamp i'm going off the page a little bit because i want it to look as natural as possible so if you are too orderly it actually doesn't look like a very natural feel about it i don't want to go over you know i have got um, some issues with being a bit organised. Um, I do like my ducks in a row, but you, you kind of need to be off page. And
and um, a little bit um, random if you're going to have a natural feel about these um, about making a wallpaper. So all around the outside like so. Now this bit's going to be covered up so I'm not too fussed about that but I do see a few gaps so I want to come back like so and just add in a few little bits. Isn't that pretty? So those colours look great together too. So and then when I was thinking about making this card I really wanted to um, add a layer to the card and I did first of all think about popping in a, a piece of whisper white behind there and making a really strong border but two things firstly I didn't want to hide this stamping behind I wanted that to poke to be able to still see it because it was so beautiful and I was so impressed with how lovely those um, ferns looked against the blue the pool party but um, and secondly, I wanted it to kind of have a slightly more modern feel. And I really do feel like vellum is very in at the moment. So I pulled out my pack of vellum and started to play with that. Now, the good thing about vellum is that you can still see the pattern through, but it also softens up the look of the card a little bit as well, which I think is really nice um, because... These are really, it's a really strong pattern. And then if you've got a really strong image against it, it can, it can be a little bit busy. So by just popping in the vellum behind, it takes that busyness factor just down a notch, do you think? So I've cut, I've done, um, but I also wanted it to kind of feel like it was just sitting on there. I didn't want it to be really strongly adhered down. So I've just gone and got my multi-purpose glue and I like to keep my multi-purpose glue in a little pot. I leave the lid open for the whole time I'm stamping and um, then I just pop it in the pot when I'm not using it. So I've gone ahead and I'm going to just adhere one side to the vellum. Good thing about multi-purpose glue is that it gives you a couple of minutes to move it into position. And see, I've got it not quite centered. So the good thing, multi-purpose glue gives you a couple of seconds. You like the touch of vellum? It does feel nice, doesn't it? It feels, um, anything that I think is tactile with card making makes people like your cards just even a little bit more. And then I'm going to pop in. Now, because this vellum won't be seen, it's absolutely fine to put your glue, your adhesive on it. And now I'm just centering everything off to one side, just for a little bit of fun. Like so. And now I've gone ahead already and use the congratulations out of the stamp set and I've heat embossed with some white because I just thought last week we we went crazy with heat and with um, the um, heat embossing gun the heat gun so I've got it here I'm going to cover his little lolly legs a little bit and wrap it round the back there so I'll just pop a wee bit of adhesive there. Oh, I've put too much on, not to worry, I'll just squish it. Doesn't matter so much at the back. And again, just a wee bit there. It's pretty cute. So finally, I just didn't feel like I was quite done. I needed just a little something. So I've tied a little bow out of white baker's twine. Now if you are in a hurry you can use the um, the mini dots to put to adhere on a little bow on the back 
But if you've got a bit of time to let your car dry naturally, then just use your Tombow multi-adhesive and you can stick on your bow that way. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Then of course, I've just got a little bit of um, pool party cardstock. I've put in a, um, a score line there already and I'm going to adhere that on. So it's a pretty simple card. It really, I think you could make quite a few of these. And, um, oh, should I? Oh, no, I'll, I'll center it. Okay. And like I said, then I've gone ahead with this one and just added some dots from the fine tip glue. Or if you have some little embellishments that you'd like to add to it, you can do that too. So what do you think? That baby is done, all using the fabulous Flamingo stamp set, which is available to order from the 1st of June in my, um, in my online shop or by emailing me if you're here in Australia um, and uh, by going to my blog, carolynbedding.com. What do you think, guys? You like it? Yeah, it's really, it's very sweet. And there's lots of things that you could kind of do with this card to, you know, to make it a little bit more or less. I can imagine lots and lots of, you know, if you want a really natural looking um, environment behind, you could do a lot of sponging to get a beautiful background. If you wanted it to be even more of a, um, you know, like a sunset card or... You know, you could really play around with those ferns around it. There's lots of different ideas that you could do with this image. And I think that flamingos are really in. Um, and, you know, lots of, um, and obviously pink's really in too, which is awesome for me because it's one of my favourites. All right, I am just going to spin you guys around. All right, oh, there you are. Thanks for sticking around and playing and stamping with me. Oh gosh, I can see my hand on the replay. Sorry guys, <laughs> I'm not very good with the turn in business. But um, I would like to wish all of you a happy Mother's Day. Um, if you're in Australia, uh, we have Mother's Day on Sunday and I hope that you have a lovely day if you are a mother or um, even if you're... Um, if you're not a mum, well, just enjoy your day regardless. And um, I will see you again next Friday. I think so. There is nothing going to stop us, I hope. We will meet again next Friday for some more stamping here in my stamping room. Have a fabulous week, guys. And I will see you again real soon. Bye.